want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. Wait, 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 wait. I'm with her. Your friend, Beska, said you two were all partners. Your friend made a big mistake. <laughs> Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once. The Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need... Fearless soldiers to crush them! You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? The life you've led here is over. I've met the Mother of Dragons. She won't open the pits again. If you want to fight, we offer gold and glory. Amaya, the way I left was terrible, I know. But we were friends once, and could be again. Please, set aside your anger and listen to him. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. How about the belly here? You might wish so. His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look, though. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. We'll have to kill him. It'd be a shame to waste such a talented fighter. Perhaps if I just subdued him. No one has ever subdued him. Hmm. Right. Well... Suppose I better get this over with. So <laughs> what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll drink enough ale to drown a horse. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You 
Oh, see, this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. What we got? Mm-hmm. So I got pause. <laughs> Just... Ah. <laughs> Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy of blood song. <laughs> Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. <laughs> Just the one. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. <laughs> oh. We don't kill people for sport. This is going to go wrong. The 
The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocence and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Should offer them gold. Everyone just wants gold. <laughs> There's not going to be anyone there. <laughs> Finn! He was over there! He's gone. Finn! They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! But we need to stick together! You're right about this, Garrett. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. Yes, Your Grace. I'd like to think we can be honest with one another. No one could be honest with you. However, you're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. 
Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you've invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I do what's necessary, Your Grace. Including using another girl to talk your way in, I'm told. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Mm. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. I had to speak with Lord Andros, Your Grace. It was urgent. Lord Andros? I don't imagine he'd appreciate being approached by a person of your stature. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. Hmm. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must. Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Mm. <laughs> because I already know what happens in the show, so it's not like anything I do here actually makes an impact to the overall story, so. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Go on. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. What about eight? Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, swords. 
My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. <laughs> like Asher. Eight. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Trophies are popping like candy right now. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Crap. <laughs> oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. You died. <laughs> so, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Lady Marjorie sent me. Did she? With wine from Cersei's cellar. How generous of her. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. Sorry, Tyrion, but I've got to lie. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me, <laughs> Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. He'll twist your words. Stupid girl. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm, I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shagger. 
son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. Oh, and Timid, and Chella, <laughs> and the, the Scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. <laughs> Be careful who you trust. That was never going to go well. <laughs> Hello. Was to leave. Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I, I hope you don't have any regrets about this. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you, with all that's happened. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We enjoy what we have. For as long as we can. I plan to. They're all going to be dead at the end of this. Oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh... I, I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Were you seen, Talia? No. It was dark, but... I saw him. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Dahlia, I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, oh, damn it. make him pay. Go on in, I, I give will. you my word, Talia. When I went back out this Traitor time. Traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Get the guards. Oh. Oh. 
My lord, <laughs> you scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. But it's done now. Start explaining yourself, Duncan. What do you want me to say? What I did. I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. You told them everything, Duncan. Our plans, our strategies. I only told them enough to keep us from war. But why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger Royland as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Losing your betrothal to Elena. It doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Beating Griff blind, despite the fact that his father still held Ryan. Taking Royland to High Point when the day called for diplomacy. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. You're not family. You're not blood. How can you say that? I've known you since you took your first breath. If that's not family, I don't know what is. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. it hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. You're a traitor, Duncan. Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you promised. Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. Please, Roderick. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. No, Whatever damn it. you decide, temper your anger with wisdom. If not for my oh, sake, then for your family. Let's hear him out. I'll spare your life. Now talk. You're a bigger coward than he is. Damn it. Sorry, Talia. <laughs> Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! Take this traitor away. Why can't we kill him now, now that he's told me? <laughs> Silencing me won't change things. You're making a mistake. What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare oh. the horses. We're going to war. Smell that. We're almost there, Wesker. Let's have a look. Come on! 
Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A Lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Doesn't matter if Roderick's Lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Hmm. Point taken. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher, thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. since I killed any White Hills. Stays behind. My lord, oh. you must hurry! We cannot lose you! You must lead! Let me save your life and our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. I'll hold them off! Oh my lord! You Asher! Can't. Is your new lord? Yes, my lord. Roderick, go. Take as many of them as you can with you. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
Should have killed him. You and 63.4 did not try to stab Randy Snow. There was no point because you know where he is in the show. So it's like 61.5 spared blood song. 63% did not tell Tyrion that Cersei sent you. 42% chose to imprison the traitor. I should have killed him. 60.5% had Roderick stay behind you. Yeah. That made sense to me. There we have it guys, thank you very much for watching, that was episode 5 of Game of Thrones, I will catch you on episode 6 very soon. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and take care of yourselves, and see ya, bye.